to plot it's been gaming doge a few things a few major things happened oh, i actually go show it to you right now uh a great pc upgrade has happened i'll be doing a separate video on it i know i've said i should have a shit ton of times that i'm gonna be doing a video and then didn't even fucking upload it like the with the camera which i'm actually right now using i'm gonna be doing something on that so I got a very significant PC upgrade to which I just have to I have to screw that pull that off I'm not putting it back in I'm just not capable enough to do it that phone let me just bring up the flashlight meanwhile there is see that right there that's the Noctua DH nine no bullshit that's the Noctua dh12l paired with a amd ryzen 5 and no amd ryzen 7 5700 x3d i can already hear you saying or thinking why don't you go with the fi with the ryzen 5 5 5800 x3d the 5700 x3d was on a great deal like what like 20% off in total I got it with a coupon code and with that I now have a much capable PC I'm gonna show you the old one you probably know it you probably remember it you probably don't if you've been watching me for a while this is the old one this is in the protection case for the 5700 x3d but there's the AMD Ryzen 5 2600. It's a 6 core processor. The new one is 8 core. That's still that's still probably the least significant part of it, but with 64 megabytes of L3 cache, I'll be gaming much better. It's it's a lag Jeep. It's a lag CPU of course, but that doesn't matter to me. I hope so. I, I actually with the D9 D12L, if I got an unlocked one, it would have been much better. But the unlocked ones are probably more expensive as well. But th this will do it for now. I might actually just sell it and just buy another, buy a better one. And another thing, I got the MetaQuest 3. I know that I'm saying the probably the best thing to last, but. Actually, I'm not sure I'll be actually doing anything like for content. It's just a VR headset. I don't think I can actually do any content on it. Maybe on Minecraft in VR. I've actually got that up and running. Surprisingly. Also, I'll be doing a part-time job if that's the literate uh, translation of it. Brigada. Look it up. If you're check, so I'll be doing that, and probably from that money, I will either save up more and buy an actual photo camera, like with you know the DSLR or whatever, a compact one, and a uh, quite of an ultra zoom, not the P1000. I was also also thinking thinking that, but not worth it in the long run. I'm not gonna be stalking people. I'd say a Sony HXR V something. I don't know. It. I want to have. I, I want the camera to have a high frame rate mode. So a Sony, I'd say. Not a Samsung. Something else. I was. Or Panasonic Lumix F. Two thousand or two hundred. I think it was. Yeah, two thousand. Either that or something else. Also, a technical thing. If someone in my audience is actually technical enough to tell me, repasting an RX 6600, which I've had for like two years, if it's worth it. I still have a lot of thermal paste left. The Noctua H1, which I got with the cooler, and Arctic MX and Arctic MX4. I know the MX4 wasn't really a good choice but why is my mouth well, glowing I know the MX4 was not really a good option which I just now got 
well, which I just now learned. But I ho but the cooling solution is working pretty good with the D12L and the 5700X3D. So for that, let me grab out the accessory kit. This is the accessory kit. How the fuck did I open it? One sec. This is the accessory kit, by the way. For D12L here are my two thermal pastes. The MX4. Either this one, I still have a lot of it. And the Noctua NTH1. Yep, NTH1. I got. I know that this is a pretty damn old paste as well as this one, but yeah. And you, and you might ask me why didn't you pick the D15 cast and it's huge as hell. Okay, thanks lots. Thank you for watching this great video and I'll see you in another project. See ya.